YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kat, and today I am going to do the two looks with the It's All Good palette. I did do swatches of it the other day, so I will leave the video linked in the description box and up in the cards somewhere. And I also want to try on this highlighter. It's the new Becca Own Your Own Light um, limited edition uh, shimmering skin perfector pressed and the color yeah is Own Your Own Light and the packaging is all hollow and um, I got this I want to say like two months ago three months ago it was when Ulta was had a 20 percent off coupon and it's been a while since they had a 20 percent off coupon but um when you get those you can get 20 percent off of the high-end items so i got that and the packaging on this is beautiful you have this rose gold and then this darker a metallic rose on it it's really pretty and then the back is like a rose gold and then the highlighter is gorgeous this is what the highlighter looks like it is they describe it as a um where is it um own your own light a warm gold infused with luminous pink and peach pigments and um i know they are donating money to this to um like mental health awareness and stuff which is really cool and this is a really pretty highlight let me swatch it that's what it looks like it's more of like a pink highlight with a peachy um pinky peachy highlight and it's got like a gold shift on it it's really pretty i'm gonna try this on and then i will do i will prime the eyes and we'll do two looks um with the palette it is so humid here my hair is like so frizzy and i have product in here like if um i didn't have um product in here my hair would be like 10 times more frizzy and I'm actually, like, wearing it curly. Um, I've been trying to actually get my curls um, back in order. Bleaching it kind of didn't help. But I am now using, like, restorative masks um, every day and deep conditioning every day. And it is actually getting better because within uh, a week I was actually able to get start seeing my uh, curl pattern come back. But, yeah, I, I'm i not used to actually seeing my hair, like, curly, curly, and I like it, but it is frizzy as fuck. But it looks good because it's curly right now. But let me actually try this on. Such a pretty highlight. Just put that on, pat this bad boy on. I am going to do um, that, you know, start doing the makeup looks from around the world, but I do want to do a black, um, the bomb makeup challenge, the black owned makeup brands. So I am going to do that. Uh, I should be filming that tomorrow, and it should be up tomorrow. And then um, on Saturday or Sunday, I'll start doing... I'm going to start with uh, the French makeup look. So that is what it looks like. Just let me pat the corners out. See, that is so pretty. gorgeous highlight it's I was about to say it's not blindy but yeah it kind of is it kind of is on that blindy side I do prefer that 
All right, let me hit the other side with this. And I think this would work with a lot of skin tones because it has the gold shift in it. And the, I know, pinky, peachy shifting highlights work with a lot of different skin tones. So I think that this would work with a lot of different um, skin tones. I'm not sure about pale, though. And I saw, like, I couldn't find a lot of um, reviews on here for this. And some of the ones I saw, like, when they were trying it on, they weren't getting a very intense look. But I definitely think that this falls on the intense highlight sides. It's really pretty. Just hit the nose. And down there. And hit the chin. And Cupid's bow. Okay, so that is what the highlight looks like on me. I think it is gorgeous highlight, and I think that a lot of people, skin tones, could use it. Um, I think the price is $38. I'll leave it down below. I got it at the Ulta website because I had a 20% off coupon for it. And yeah, I am going to prime my eyes and then we will do the two looks on my eyes. So let me go prime them and uh, we'll get these looks started. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I am going to do on my right eye, I have it primed. I'm going to recreate this look that I did uh, last week on my Instagram stories and I forgot to save it, but I really liked the look. So I'm going to go in with as a, um, as a kind of like transition shade, this color concierge, and then over it, I'm going to use this color margarita. I'm just going to do like my crease up to like right here. And then on the lid, I'm going to take the color cater to you. And on the center of the eye, I'm going to take this pressed glitter and then under, oops, I dug my finger into one of the neutral shades, not the end of the world. Then I'm going to take this color Dear Diary, throw it on the lower lash, um, and throw this on the inner corner sunbelt and on the brow bone. I'm probably going to use the color either peace sign or um, 10 out of 10. I haven't decided yet, but that's the color story we're going to go with. I'm not going in with the margarita color to blend with because there is glitter in there and... Um, yeah, I don't want to be blending glitter out for no reason, so we're going to use concierge to get that blended look and then put the margarita on top once it's blended and just blend the edge edges out so we don't have to do as much blending and the glitter will kind of stay place. Okay, let me grab my mirror and let me grab a handy dandy brush. We need something, yes, on the small side. Okay, so I'm going to go in, that, in with that color concierge. And like I said, this is more of a transition shade, so we don't really need it to get to maximum pigmentation.
we just want to have it blended out so it looks like we took that margarita color and blended it. It is so freaking muggy and humid. We're getting like thunderstorms every day this week because it's been so humid. And it hasn't been like, I don't mind the heat, but I'm really hoping that we don't have like it's not 105 degrees in August and like 100% humidity because when the weather gets like that, it's impossible to breathe. You're like sweating, just like sitting there breathing. You, it's, it sucks when uh, the weather gets to that like pea soup hot weather. Because the heat's been normal for what it should be at this time of year. It's just the humidity is insane. And like even when I put anti-frizz product in my hair, like when I put it in and it's wet, it looks like it's going to go down. And like I said, if I didn't have any anti-frizz product in my hair, I wouldn't even have any curl. This would just be like, psh, I, I wouldn't even have it down. Okay, we almost have that where I want it. Just make it. Okay, and down here also. Gotta make sure that's. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, that should be good. So that's going to be our kind of like base transitional color. Just going to wipe the pigment off of here. doesn't really matter because magenta is a darker color. So now I'm going to take that dark fuchsia matte or that like matte fuchsia color with the um, sparkles in it. And we're just going to lay that down here. And we don't want to go up too high because we don't want to cover the blending that we did. And then we're just going to go on the edges so we have that color to blend in with the other color. Color. Okay. And then I'm going to go in one more time with this color. Just get down here at the edges. Okay, perfect. We've got the Blended edges aren't covered. Let's just deepen that color up a little bit, get a little bit more sparkle in there. And I'm just going right like deep into the socket to deposit the color. And again, don't want to go up too high or too close to the edges where I've blended them. And now that I've deposited all the color, let's go back and just blend the edges out so the color looks nice and uniform. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Now we're going to go in with uh, 
we're gonna go on the lid with that color cater to you right there that shimmer so let me grab a flat brush for that actually no I want that type of brush okay and we're going to place this all over the lid you don't want to go past where my crease is this is all just on the mobile lid and we kind of got and we've got colors in the same color story so everything kind of meshes together a lot better okay now we're just gonna keep patting the product on a really pretty color it reminds me of like a rose in an English garden like when I went to Eng <clears throat> when I went to England and we saw like the gardens with the roses and in France we went to a park that had like public gardens in it and I remember it had peacock a peacock or two wandering around. It was really pretty. Okay. Again, we don't need it to have like, you know, be mass, max pigmentation on the eye because we're going to take that pressed glitter. So I have a very pink fuchsia -y moment going on in my eyes right now but we're going to take that pressed glitter again i would recommend using a glitter glue if you're going to wear this look all day long i'm just doing it now and gonna be lounging around at my house so i really don't care if i have glitter fallout but i'm just gonna take Oop. Gonna take that glitter and we're just going to make sure I'm in frame. And then I'm going to. Yeah, you definitely want to use glitter glue because I'm seeing glitter fall onto my mirror and I can see it in the corner of my eye flying around okay i want to add just a little bit more okay Do a nice little halo <clears throat> halo moment with that very pretty very pretty very pretty okay so now I'm going to take on the bottom lash line, I'm going to take that color Dear Diary and we're going to smoke the lower lash line out with that darker purple shimmer. It's more of like a fuchsia shimmer. That 
um, that color Dear Diary is like a pretty good match if you wanted to do this look and want it to be like monochromatic, monochromatic, this color Dear Diary is pretty close to what magenta looks like, but as a shimmer. And I'm just... Running this along the lower lash. Don't want to go too close to the inner corner because I am going to put the yellow there. And make sure the inner corner is covered. Okay, Ooh, sorry, itch. So that is um, that color um, disco date. It's much closer to the pink I had on my, uh, I have in my crease. I think when I did this look, I had these colors reversed. I had this on the lower lash and this on the lid, but I like it either way. Most people, unless like you're really into color, it's not going to, most people wouldn't really notice the difference. <sighs> yeah, so definitely use a glitter glue if you're going to wear this glitter and be out and about. Okay, on the brow bone, I'm going to take, let me swatch these and see which one I want to use on the brow bone. Okay, I'm going to take the color um, Peace Sign, this color Peace Sign right up here. It's a shimmer, and we're going to throw that on the brow bone. And I'm getting a different brush. This should do the job. All right. We really don't need a lot of product of this. We just want a little wash of... Perfect. Kind of looks like my highlight. Yeah, it's got, it's really pretty. It's pink, but got, a, it's like a pinky peachy shift. It doesn't really have um, a gold reflect, but it definitely has that pinky peachy shift that I like. Then just bring a little down here. Why not bring the rest down here and smoke it out more? Okay, so that is the color Peace Sign. I put it on pretty sheer on the brow bone. And then, oops, sorry, foot's falling asleep there. Then I'm going to take on the inner corner that yellow sun belt. And that's going to be the inner corner highlight. Okay, perfect. I need a little small brush. And this yellow is pretty pigmented. Um, I would just use a lighter base to get, you know, the maximum color out of it. That's it right there. I have um, the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1, so it's the lightest concealer color before white. I do have it in white, but I'm using this color up first before I crack into that tube of concealer. Sorry, contacts are drying out. A little bit more yellow. Okay, 
So that is the first look. Um, this is a recreation of, sorry, my contacts were dry. Um, this is a recreation of the look I did last week, and I really like it. It's very pink with a hint of yellow in the corner. Um, I'm going to go prime the other eye and we'll do the um, second look. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I have primed my other eye and we're going to do the second look. I'm going to go in with the color um, Rock Sugar. It's this really dark, um, like, brown purple color. I'm not going to use a lot because I'm going to use this more as a transition shade because I want to use, there is a darker matte that has sparkle in it. So I want to do the same idea as we did with the other eye. So we're going to blend this out. I think we might be having another thunderstorm soon because when I was putting my primer on I couldn't tell if it was thunder or something else so if you start hearing thunder soon uh yeah you, I don't know <laughs> uh yeah if you start hearing thunder don't be uh scared we don't go heavy with this color. I love that ColourPop shadows blend out so nicely. Or maybe it's people playing with fireworks. I can't tell. It's so far away. Alright, let me just get a bigger, fluffier brush just to fluff the color out more. Okay, perfect. Okay, just place a little more right here in the front and blend that out. Okay, I'm in frame. Perfect. All right, now we're going to blend that out on the inner. Okay. That's one problem when you use natural hair brush it, bristles, brushes, they shed on you. Okay, so humid I feel like, that was so sticky and ugh. Alright, that is nice and blended. Like I said, this is more of a transitional color to help with the um, best life color. It kind of reminds me of that, I think it's Memory um, Sequin from Tati, this color. It's a, um, it's like a plum color with blue sparkles. Okay, this one, we're just gonna use to pat on. Hopefully this doesn't look like I end uh, like I have a bruise. But hey, that's what happens when you okay, no. It's not looking like that. Cool. It did with the first application, but once I went in a second time and built it up, it looks much better. Okay, I just wanna Make sure the ends, edges are 
blended. I don't want to have that harsh look. And then just go in there, kind of smudge it up a little. And just keep on adding. Okay, I've just got to add a little up there. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want a really heavy smoky eye. I want a smoky eye, but yeah, more of like a sultry smoky eye, I guess I would call it. And just make sure that up here, and then... Okay, that is good. I'm gonna go in for, um, for the outer V outer um, area that I'm just going to use rock sugar and we're going to <laughs> someone on their motorized bike okay I just want to add that there to deepen the outer corner up sorry don't want to be blocking what I'm doing. All right, and then make sure I've got these edges blended. It's right here. So used to like bringing the color up into my brow, but I don't want that type of look right now. Sometimes I get so frustrated with my brows, I want to shave them off, but. I think that would just cause more problems if I actually did that. Okay. So I have my, see it's so weird with this light, that highlight, I can see the gold reflect. It wasn't looking like this when I wore it in public, but in my lights, it looks weird from head on because I could see the gold um, reflex, but in real life, when I was wearing it, I didn't have this going on today. Um, okay, so we've got those dark colors on. Now I'm going to go in with the color. I'm going to take the color Tropical Punch, this kind of corally peachy color. Yeah, it's like a coral color. Make sure my brush is clean. And we're just going to add that onto the lid. I love this palette. It's such a summer palette. And they actually like, I like that there is no repeats in this and like, there really is a huge option for looks. Um, the mattes do have kick up in the pan, but I'm not getting the fallout on my face. Okay. Well, I saw that Trend Mood with Sneak Peeking a New Color Pop collection. I'm like, all right, well, the world is starting to go back to normal. Color Pop is starting to pop out those collections again. Okay, very pretty color. And we're going to I'm not going into the inner tear duct because I'm going to do a different color there. I wonder if I use my finger, if I'll get the effect. Okay, there we go. Wasn't getting quite the opacity I wanted with that brush. That is a gorgeous color. Okay. 
Okay. That is so pretty, that color. All right, so now I have that color. I'm going to take on the inner, on the outer, on the tear duct um, highlight area. I'm gonna take this color doing time. It's, um, a silver with like a purplish shift. I'm going to take that right there. We're going to do that on the inner corner. That's the what I was looking for. I was having a brain fart for a second there. Couldn't remember. All right. I want a nice little flat brush. Lip brushes are great for this. So we're going to take that color doing time. And we're going to... go in a little because I left the tear duct area blank so I could have a more dramatic kind of inner highlight going on, inner corner highlight thing going on. And that has a silver undertone so it can go over that purple shadow and not affect the look that I'm going for. <clears throat> like, I really like with this, like I said, there's not repeating colors. There is, you know, a really cool color story going on, and there is, like, a ton of looks you can get out of this palette. And there are different types of textures and finishes and stuff that I really like in a palette. Like this is a 30 pan palette done right. When I look at this, <clears throat> it is kind of hard to be like, oh, I would take this color or that color out because even with this top row with like these neutrals, um, this color sunny, it's actually like a tangerine color when you um, wear it on the eyes. Same thing with this carefree color. It has more of like a mustardy color to it. Um, the color No Worries, that is like if you like to set your eyes with like a white base or something and then this is like a true kind of cream color. But all of these neutrally colors, they do have something special going on with them. Um, May and even like with this color goal getter and vibes like one is a straight up matte and then one is a um it's like a satin with um bronzy pinky um flex in it so they really did i think do a really good color story and didn't repeat colors and stuff so i'm really really happy with this and I'm kind of surprised that like it's kind of one of those palettes from Colourpop that a lot of people don't know about and I find it really interesting because this has been out I think for at least six months and a lot of people when yeah they don't know about this palette which I think is interesting. Okay so now we're going to do a color on the brow bone. Um, I'm going to take the color, I'm going to take the color Happy Go Lucky, this champagne -y color. We're going to put that on the brow bone. Very, very shimmery. Okay, bring that out here. And then just tap here so we don't have a harsh line. Okay, that is really pretty. Gives kind of like that wet effect. And then on the lower lash line, I am going to take... On the lower lash line, I'm going to take this, 
hold on, let me swatch these two colors. I'm indecisive. Uh, I'm going to take like this kind of, yeah, this true rose gold color, and that's going on the lower lash line. So that is the color so stoked right here. I'm not blocking the camera from seeing what I'm doing and let's just bring that along the lower lash a lot of these shimmers are really soft so don't dig your brush into them Just kind of smoke this guy out. Okay, that is the second look. Again, like I said, I really like this palette. Um, if you like ColourPop's formula, you'll like this palette. I think this is a great summer palette. They did a really good job of picking colors out, not repeating them, giving you different textures and formulas to work with. I think this is a great palette. Um, I think for if you really... The, if you're looking for a nice summer palette, this will definitely get the job done. There are not repeating colors in this. You can get so many looks from this. The quality is good. It lasts all day. I could go on and on and on. But yeah, I think you definitely, um, if you're looking for a nice summer palette, pick it up. It's ColourPop. You can find discounts for it. And yeah, you're getting really good quality makeup at a good price and I definitely say go for it. So um, let me know what you think about the palette down below and I will see you guys tomorrow with the uh, black owned uh, makeup brand tutorial and I will be starting the um, around the world makeup looks um, starting this Sunday. So I just had to push everything a week back, but I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video and have a good night. See you then. Bye.